We often find ourselves spending hours a day on our phones and screens, whether it's for work or social media or just consuming content. But with the immediate access to all the things we could ever want, we still find ourselves empty. If you're looking for ways to blend minimalism into the technology area of your life, then let's dive in. What's up, everyone? If you're new to this channel, we are the Armstead family, and we talk about ways on how you can lead a minimal lifestyle so you can live an abundant life emotionally, financially, and physically. And we just share the ins and outs of our lives with you. Today, we're going to share a few ways you can consume less technology and be more digitally minimal. Hey, but before we get started, let us know in the comments, what are some ways that you're already becoming more minimal with your technology? And if you're new to this channel, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of these videos. So the first piece is limiting your devices. So nowadays, you know, we get told that we need a different gadget for all these different activities. Like you need a TV and then you need a MacBook and then you need an iMac, but then you need a desktop and then you need an iPad. And then for your kids, you need all these other devices. And it just, the list goes on and on, but that can end up just cluttering your house with all kinds of technology. You know, when we started our minimalism journey, the first thing we did is we started with our TV and that was a huge step for us. And we've been, t we were TV free then for about one year. So after a year of being a TV free home, we added a TV back in. And then recently because of YouTube and just because of what we're doing, we purchased another laptop for myself because I haven't had one for years. And other than that, we have our two cell phones and then our kids have a tablet. But with all of that, there are times that we just know that we need to shut it all off and just take a break from it all. What are you doing? We're digital minimalists. Now I can say in regards to consumption, I am more of a digital minimalist than Carleen, but overall our household is pretty minimal with devices and Carleen is the one that initiated our minimalism journey when it comes to technology. So he personally consumes less technology than I do. However, I do digital minimalism a little bit different. So instead of the consumption side of things, I actually have clutter free technology. So every monday i will go through my phone and i will wipe it clean so that involves calls voicemails text messages um all my emails pictures videos and all of that so anything that's important gets saved in the drive and the rest of it just i get rid of it so i consider even digital things to be clutter the next way is putting actual limits on your devices. So for my iPhone, I have a setting where I've limited screen time from 6.30 p.m. all the way through 8 a.m. in the morning. I also have app level limits for all of those social media apps that we can constantly spend hours and hours on. So if I'm on Facebook for a certain amount of time, then my phone will shoot a little message and let me know that I've been on it too long or Instagram or YouTube. And for me, I found that that's one of the easiest ways for me to begin having the habit of getting off of my phone and just being more present. Now, I am not always perfect at this. They give you an option to uh, remind me in 15 minutes and I do click that button once in a while. But overall, I really try to respect this boundary because again, it is important for me to find different ways to unwind because a lot of times we jump on our phones or we turn on the TV or you know whatever technology and we do that because we're trying to find like a way to unwind from the day or a way to detach a little bit. So I, you know, I'm trying to find different ways to do that. And with these limits on my screen time, this has really helped me become more present with my wife, with my kids and uh, just people in general, family and friends, everything. What are you doing? Being present. All jokes aside, when I find that I'm able to step away from my phone more, I find that I have less stress, less anxiety. And if you want to improve your mental health, this is a great way to do that. Just putting limits on your screen time and just interacting with people. Another thing you can do to help yourself limit screen time is adding a grayscale color filter, which makes social media seem kind of boring. You just go into your settings, you go to accessibility, 
you go down to accessibility shortcuts and click color filters. Then if you hit the side button three times, it will flip to the grayscale. Now you can see scrolling Instagram doesn't seem nearly as exciting and you will be more drawn to actually stepping away. Next, commit to a shutdown time. There are certain health benefits that are linked to having a shutdown time from technology, such as better sleep, better intimacy, and it's been shown that exposure to technology can negatively affect your sleep if you're using it all the way up to the point that you're going to sleep too. Some studies recommend a shutdown time of up to three hours before you go to sleep. I've settled on about an hour and a half before I go to sleep. And that's worked really well for me to help me fall asleep much faster. Are you already sleeping? Such a digital minimalist. Also, having a shutdown time can help you pick up a new habit that you wanted to do, such as reading or just spending more time with your significant other. As you can see, we have our blue light locking glasses. So we recently invested in these. Actually, they were your birthday present from your mom. Mm, yeah, so we didn't invest in it. <laughs> Well, his mom kept asking me what is something that he wants or needs. So I knew this is something that he wanted and needed because of all the research we've been doing about blue lights and just, you know, the exposure to technology. So the cool thing is it came with two glasses. So we both got them. And so we started, you know, he's obviously more digitally minimal with his consumption. And I'm trying to like follow his path because I do not sleep well. I have been consuming so much more technology during quarantine and it's to the point where it just makes me really unhappy and seeing like the numbers because your iPhone can track like how many hours you're on your phone, specific times you're on an app and I've just realized that it's too much. So I'm trying to become more digitally minimal and also protect my eyes. What do you guys think? When I have the white ones on, I look extra old. Yeah, so, so I, I took made it. him. <laughs> I know because when we first tried them on, he like laughed so hard at me. He's like, "You look so old." He's like, "This is what the future holds for me," or something like that. Because I look like I look like a granny. But we got these from Amazon, and we will link them in the description. They have like amazing ratings, and if you're looking to limit your blue light exposure, look no further. You can add another shutdown signal for yourself by having a night shift on your phone which limits the blue light automatically at a certain time each day. So you go to settings, then you hit display, then you hit night shift, and then put schedule, then put the time frame that you want. We have 6.30 p.m. to 8 a.m. So just to round out that point, sleep is one of the most critical elements to your internal health, to replenishing your creativity every day. So you wanna make sure that you're getting the good amount of sleep and you want to protect your sleep so that's why mm -hmm. having a shutdown time and if you get yeah. blue light glasses that could really help you the next way is deleting apps for certain periods of time so there's been many times that we've deleted certain apps for long periods of time sometimes 30 days sometimes months mm -hmm. sometimes just a week but that's a really good way to start building the habit of hey i want to learn how to detach from certain social media or certain apps or certain technology mm -hmm. The strategy that I learned from reading James Clear's Atomic Habits is that you can delete social media right before the weekend starts so that you can be more present with your family as the weekend progresses. Being present. <laughs> or you can do this at the end of the weekend if you want to be fully focused throughout the rest of the week, have no access to social media while you're trying to accomplish certain things throughout your work week. So what we've decided to do as a family is a phone-free Sunday. So Saturday night, we turn off our phones and we don't turn them on again until Monday morning. So that'll allow us a full day to just unplug and be present. We wanted to do like a day of the week, like a phoneless Friday, but he works so he has to be able to access his phone. So Sundays work best for us. If you wanna learn more about minimalism for your life as a whole, uh, then check out this video and it also be in the description below. But don't forget to follow us. I'm at C John Armstead. And if you want to learn more about decluttering your devices, follow 
at Carlene Armstead. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on videos like this. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.